Hi, my name is Lizette Cruz and I'm an established volunteer at Inside Books Project. Just to give you a brief overview of what Inside Books Project is, uh, every month we receive thousands of letters from inmates all over Texas and we try to get as many people to come out. Uh, they read the letters, pick out books from our small library and we write a response and we send the books off with that to their corresponding inmate. Um, just the other day I received, a, or I opened up a letter of an inmate called uh, named McCollin who all he asked for was a book of crossword puzzles in it. Um, that's totally fine, but the thing that got me was his letter was, you know, five to six sentences, barely legible. I couldn't understand what he was saying. I could barely make out that he wanted a crossword book puzzle. Um, and it just got me thinking how, you know, instead of asking for a book to read or further educate himself, he just asked for a crossword puzzle. Um, yeah, a book. And so, you know, it just shows that the benefits of literacy in inmates post-incarceration are well documented and evidence points to a beneficial relationship between additional reading and increased literacy and an insert books project. I feel like we are definitely aiding that by providing them with free books. Today I'll be talking to you about um, a little bit more about what Inside Books Project is, what recidivism is, um, how you can help, and the future of Inside Books Project, which I hope will include all of you guys. Uh, before I begin, though, I would like to ask to please silence your phones and hold all your questions till the end. Alrighty, Inside Books Project is an Austin-based community service uh, volunteer organization that sends free books and education materials to prisoners in Texas. We work to promote uh, reading, reading, literacy, education among incarcerated individuals and to also educate uh, the public about incarceration. I mentioned earlier recidivism. Recidivism is a person's relapse into criminal history. Um, criminal behavior within a three-year period. According to Crime in America, in 2004, here in Texas, 30% of the released inmates returned to prison within three years. That number reduced to 24% in 2007, but still remains at 22.6%. And I feel like what we do at Inside Books, uh, Inside Books Project definitely contributes to that uh, continued reduction in recidivism. Uh, how you can help? Our staff consi consists of probably 10 people per session, if that. Um, so we definitely want people to come out and help uh, help us answer as many letters as we can to you know get the books back to the prisoners as soon as possible. Our sessions are every Thursday and Sunday night from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. and every second Monday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And the cool thing is you can come and go as, as you please, stay either for an hour or the whole four hours. Um, for the first timers, you do get a brief orientation of what is books project is and a walkthrough of the volunteering process which includes you know you open up a letter you read what the inmate is requesting and you write a response we usually encourage people to be more conversational in their response just because we uh, the inmates usually appreciate it when you go beyond you know these are your books here you go kind of include why you chose the books and why you think they would like it and then we, uh, we have people off to the side who package up the books and the letters and then we send them all so you don't have to worry about that. Um, as far as the future, we all know that summer is coming up and that's usually when we see a drop in our volunteers. Usually during the school, when school is going on, we see a lot of high school and college students who need to fulfill certain volunteering hour requirements. So, you know, we see a lot of people during the school year, but then the summer comes, everyone is out having, doing other stuff and, you know, they don't, have the time or they don't feel like coming out and volunteering and see the need in it but um, I think they're really missing the point of you know we what we're doing and helping people better their lives through books um, it's only an hour or two you know it's not long it's very relaxing I pop in some headphones that's usually what I do I read some letters and then I look for some books which usually makes the time go by faster so in conclusion um, there's a lot of nonviolent crimes that require from six months to a year in prison, which usually is enough to start losing connections with family and or job opportunities. So when you come out, people don't really see much of a future for themselves um, in that. Um, so the more volunteers we have, the more letters we answer and the faster we get them back to the prisoners, which in turn, it, they are more willing to write another letter asking for more books. So I just ask to please consider taking an hour or two every week to help somebody help themselves better their lives through reading and through books. Thank you for listening. Do you have any questions?